Hey, Most Amazing Top 10 family. I'm your host, Trey Arena, and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. If you're from San Diego or you're just a big history buff, then you might have heard of the Whaley House. It is a historical landmark that people travel from all over the world to come and visit. And to be honest, it's a pretty amazing spectacle to look at and has a pretty rich history. If you like 1800s American architecture, then you should definitely check this one out. But beyond the beautiful home, there are a bunch of ghosts that have decided this is the place that will forever be their home. For today's list I'm going to be looking into the spirits that have made this place their never ending afterlife party with top 10 spirits of Whaley House. As always I would love it if you guys could like, comment, subscribe and hit the little notification bell. Also stick around for the whole list because I'm going to be doing some more pet shout outs that you guys love so much. If any of you at home want me to shout out your pet remember you can hit me up on Instagram and without taking any longer let's get into this list. At number 10 we have the piano ghost. If you have been watching our content for a while you know that ghosts love to play the piano. I don't know why, I can't explain it, I have never interviewed a ghost but if I did I would definitely find out why they always gravitate to this instrument. I think it's because you don't have to do a lot, you just have to press it. So for a ghost it's a very easy thing to do. I think ghosts would also be very good at the drums because it's just like a hitting thing. I'm not saying those instruments are easy, just let's move on. In the Whaley House one of the ghosts that is very famous is the piano loving phantom. This dude will play piano throughout the building, it kind of seems like it would be a quest in a video game to find him because every time you go into a room where the piano music seems like it's coming from it will move to a new location no matter how much you chase him he just keeps moving he is impossible to catch clearly this ghost is a mission that you're supposed to come back to at a later time when you have a new item that will let you get close to him it's the only obvious answer and number nine we have Thomas Tanner you know the house is ballin when you have a theater in it Thomas Whaley wanted everyone to know that he was a good time and he knew how to party and I guess that's why he opened up a theater in his own home. The opening day was a big event and the theater was operated by Thomas Tanner. There were even employees at this theater. I wish I would have gone to one of these parties. I'm sure it would have been awesome. Well, Thomas Tanner died just 17 days after this massive opening and at least he got to see this amazing thing come to fruition. And it should be no surprise that it said that his ghost still haunts the halls where the theater used to be. I mean, I would want to haunt that place too. That was probably one of the most amazing moments in his entire life. You would never see anything like that back then. Sometimes you can hear his ghostly laugh come out of thin air. He must be watching some of those comedies that they watched back in the day with like the slipping and the falling and the weird mustache and stuff. At number eight we have The Cook. Going to a restaurant way back in the day wasn't like how it is now. You wouldn't just pull up to a drive through yell into a box, then someone would give you food through a window and then you would eat the food in your car while you softly weep. Am I the only one who does that? Uh, just kidding, I don't do that. I don't have a car. <laughs> Well, the Whaley's had a cook who never wanted to leave behind his passion for cooking. It turns out he wasn't ready for the business to move on because his ghost decided to stick around. It's no surprise that sometimes when people see this ghost, they can smell food, like grilled meats or fresh baked bread. That sounds like the best ghost of all time. You have a scent that comes with you and the scent is amazing? That is so great. You can haunt me all the time, mysterious bacon ghost. At number seven, we have James Robinson. This might be the oldest ghost on the property. It said that James Yankee Jim Robinson was haunting the grounds before the Whaley's even moved into the spot. Jim had his last moments on the property when he was hung. That seems kind of crazy to me. People used to hang people on properties before they would even sell them and everyone just thought it was no big deal. Like imagine you're gonna buy a house and the people selling it were like, oh, just so you know, there were a few people who were hung on the premises, but don't worry, they were all criminals. And you're like, oh really? Well, I'm sure they deserved it. Yankee Jim was sentenced to death by hanging for stealing a boat. Pretty brutal punishment if you ask me for taking a boat. And the Whaley said they could hear the footsteps of the old ghost walking around from the day they moved in. The funny part is after the Whaley's died in the home, they probably all hang out together now. And number six, we have the patient. Patrons. Because the Whaley House was such a hot spot for people to come and visit, it seems that even in the afterlife they don't want to go home. I guess the old saying, you don't have to go home but you can't stay here, doesn't apply once you die. There have been ghosts seen walking through the Whaley House that don't seem to belong to any member of the Whaley family. It's unknown who these lost souls might be. They usually look like they're dressed up for a night out in the late 19th century, so it could be that there were customers or party goers from the Whaley House. Perhaps they died on their way to a party or on their way home, or maybe they did make 
make it home, but the night was so good that they never wanted to leave. So after they died, their souls were like, hey, let's just do a quick stop over at the Whaley house for a century or so. They always have something fun going on over there. At number five, we have Violet Whaley. She was the daughter of Thomas Whaley, and if she was born today, she probably would have been diagnosed with depression. She struggled to keep herself happy, and it was when she married George T. Betrolaki that things looked as if they were changing for her. Unfortunately, the marriage didn't last, and it brought her a very heavy amount of shame. This would be the last straw for Violet Whaley. She would go into her father's study and find his revolver. She then pointed it at her heart and took her own life. This was the last note she wrote. Mad from life's mystery, swift to death's mystery, glad to be hurled anywhere, anywhere out of this world. Her ghost is thought to still haunt the grounds. Some people have seen a pale woman walking down the halls in a white dress, and others have said they've heard weeping coming from empty rooms at night. At number four, we have more criminals. Yankee Jim wasn't the only guy who met his end on the land where the Whaley House was built. The place was a hot spot for hangings, and many criminals met their end on the land. Now they seem to be stuck at this tourist attraction, with their ghostly presence attracting more guests. I wonder if the ghosts stay because of the company. Well, some people have said they've heard gurgling noises like someone is being strangled, and much more frightening than that, some people have reported seeing hanged bodies hanging from the ceiling. If you're a ghost chaser, you should go to the Whaley House. Seeing a hanged body of a ghost would be like hitting the jackpot. If that happened to me, I think it would be scarred for years and I wouldn't be able to sleep. At number three, we have Thomas Whaley Jr. There is nothing really sadder and scarier than a ghost baby. Firstly, it makes you think about a baby dying, which is very, very sad. No parent should ever have to deal with that. And then on top of that, you may be haunted by the ghostly screams of a baby crying out at night. The youngest member of the Whaley family never really got a shot at life, unlike everyone else who was brought into the household. When this little guy was just 18 months old, he had a terrible case of scarlet fever, and it wouldn't be long before his family had to bury him. This would weigh heavy on everyone in the home, and unfortunately, this was all too common for the time. Many people would lose one or more family members to sickness. Now it's said in the middle of the night, you can hear the Whaley baby screaming out, crying out in pain, and sometimes you can hear a baby coughing. Just talking about this makes my heart feel heavy with sadness and also very, very frightened. At number two, we have Anna Whaley. The widow of Thomas Whaley, one of the few members of the Whaley family to see her death come from old age. She was 80 years old when she died from natural causes in the Whaley home. And for that time, that's considered a very old age to die at. She would have been a very lucky woman to live that long. Some people come to visit the Whaley home said they have been greeted by an old woman, and when they ask the people working there who she was, they say that there's no old woman who works at the Whaley house attraction. It seems that her ghost has stuck around to make sure people still enjoy her home. And for the number one spot, we have Thomas Whaley. This guy was the big cheese, the man behind the famed home which housed the family. Thomas Whaley was a very proud man, and this is probably the reason why he would host parties and wanted to see his home become the centerpiece of San Diego. Now, he didn't die in his home. He had built another residence on State Street, and when he fell ill, this would be the place he would pass away. But the Whaley House would always be his home. After he passed away, the Whaley House started to fall into disrepair, and it was Francis Whaley who spearheaded a move to fix it up. It was said when they were repairing the home, Thomas's ghost would be seen walking through the home, making sure everything was going well. That's a dad for you. Even after they die, they have to poke their head in to make sure you're doing a good job. Now, Thomas Whaley's ghost still haunts the land. Some people think he is always checking in to make sure that his prized home is always kept perfect. All right, everyone, that is our list. And as promised, I'm going to be doing some more pet shout outs. Remember, if you want me to shout out your pet, you can hit me up on Instagram. I pick new pets every day. So if you don't get picked one day, you can message back another day. If it takes me a little while to get back to you, I am very sorry. I have a lot of these to do. And without taking any longer, let's shout out some pets. First off, we have Rufus, who is a nice gray boy with a pretty big bum. He's got a big, big bum on him. Then we have the snuggle boy, Koi, who is all wrapped up in a blanket. Then we got the little hamster, little bean. This guy is cute and very little. After that, we have the squirrel Nibbles, who is a nibbling. Look at him go. He's nibbling a whole bunch. Next, we have Bentley, who is extra handsome in this picture. This guy is looking good. And to close it out, we have Nibbler, who is a very cute boy, and I want to snuggle him. All right, everyone, that has been our list. Thank you all so much for tuning in. As always, I would love it if you could like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. Until next time, I've been your host, Jay Durana, and I guess I gotta check out the Whaley house now, because I know everyone who lives there. And it was when she married George T. Betroka. Betro Lassi. Betro Lackey. Betro Lackey. Betro Lackey. Betro Lackey. Mad from life's history, swift to death, mystery glad, uh, swift, swift death to mystery glad. 
Mad from life's history, swift death. Mad from life's history, swift death to mystery. No, swift to swift to death's mystery.